In our Christian journey, one of the deepest yearnings of the heart is to hear God's voice clearly. The assurance of His guidance, the peace of His presence, and the clarity of His will are treasures beyond measure. Yet, in a world inundated with noise and distractions, this clarity can seem elusive. To truly attune ourselves to the voice of God, we must embark on a journey of surrender, a path that involves letting go of everything hindering our spiritual hearing. This call to holiness is not merely a suggestion, it's a mandate for those chosen by God. As 1 Peter chapter 2, 9 declares, But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Living as God's chosen requires intentionality, self-examination, and the courage to release what no longer serves our walk with Christ. The company we keep profoundly impacts our spiritual journey. Proverbs chapter 13, 20 warns, Walk with the wise and become wise. For a companion of fools suffers harm. Toxic relationships, gossip-filled environments, or friendships that breed doubt and disbelief can act as spiritual roadblocks. While it's important to love others and share our faith, there's a clear distinction between uplifting others and being dragged down. The Holy Spirit calls us to guard our hearts and cultivate relationships that encourage growth in Christ. Take inventory of your connections. Are they nurturing your faith or diminishing it? Dot, choosing God over the approval of others may feel isolating at times, but it's necessary. When you let go of toxic influences, you create space for God to work in and through you. This step isn't about abandoning people, but about prioritizing your spiritual health. In today's fast-paced world, distractions are everywhere, social media, endless entertainment, and the constant pursuit of worldly success. While these activities may not be inherently sinful, they can easily dominate our time and attention. Crowding out moments meant for God. We often find ourselves absorbed in the hustle and bustle of daily life, racing from one task to the next, leaving little space for reflection, spiritual growth, and connection with our Creator. Hebrews chapter 12, 1 reminds us to lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. This passage calls us to examine the things that weigh us down, those habits, thoughts, and distractions that keep us from living fully in the presence of God. It's essential to ask ourselves, what are the weights in your life? Is it excessive screen time that leaves your mind restless and distracted? Perhaps it's the pressure to meet societal expectations or the anxiety over worldly achievements that steal your peace. These distractions are not inherently bad, but they become detrimental when they hinder your relationship with God. Begin by evaluating your habits. Reflect on the activities that consume your time and energy. Are they bringing you closer to God or pulling you further away from Him? In our busy lives, it can be easy to neglect spiritual practices like prayer, Bible study, or quiet reflection. But when we replace time spent on activities that dull our spirit with ones that uplift it, we invite the presence of God into our daily lives. Listen to sermons, engage with scripture, or spend quiet moments in prayer. This is where true transformation begins. The clarity you seek in hearing God's voice often comes in the stillness, where his whispers are most profound. It is in those quiet moments, free from distractions, that God can speak to us most clearly. Just as we tune out the noise of the world to listen for his voice, we must intentionally set aside time to hear him. When we prioritize God in our daily routines, we cultivate a deeper connection with him and experience the peace that surpasses all understanding. One of the greatest hindrances to hearing God is an over-focus on problems. It's natural to face challenges, financial struggles, health concerns, relationship issues, but the question is, where do you fix your gaze? Psalm chapter 34, 3 invites us to magnify the Lord and exalt His name together. Instead of dwelling on what's wrong, shift your focus to what's right, God's faithfulness, His promises, and His provision. Reflect on past victories, moments when he carried you through difficulties, and the blessings you currently enjoy. When you choose to magnify God over your problems, your perspective changes. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and mind. Philippians chapter 4. 
7. This shift doesn't mean ignoring challenges but bringing them to God in faith, trusting Him to work all things for your good. Criticizing others, or even yourself, creates a barrier to spiritual growth. In Matthew chapter 7, 1, Jesus cautions us, judge not, that you be not judged. This powerful reminder challenges us to examine how we speak about others and ourselves. As chosen ones, we are called to love, not tear others down. When we criticize, whether outwardly or in our hearts, we step out of alignment with God's calling. The very act of judgment can distance us from His peace, creating a barrier that hinders our ability to grow spiritually. The Holy Spirit may convict us when our words or thoughts become overly critical, urging us to shift our perspective. Instead of focusing on flaws, whether in others or ourselves, we are called to a higher purpose, prayer and grace. Pray for those who stumble, and ask God to give you a heart of compassion and understanding. Instead of pointing fingers, offer support and encouragement. In doing so, you embody the love of Christ and create an environment where grace can flourish. Likewise, it's essential to extend grace to yourself. Negative self-talk, such as, I'm not enough, or, I always fall short, contradicts the truth of God's word. These destructive thoughts do not reflect the identity God has given us. When we belittle ourselves, we ignore the powerful truth of who we are in Christ. We are not defined by our failures or weaknesses, but by God's infinite love and grace. His word tells us, I am fearfully and wonderfully made, Psalm chapter 139, 14. This is the truth we are called to embrace. Declare over your life, I am a beloved child of God, equipped for every good work. Let go of self-criticism and embrace the identity God has given you. As you speak life over yourself and others, your spirit will align more closely with God's voice. The more you affirm the truth of His Word, the less room there will be for negativity or judgment. You will find your heart filled with love, grace, and peace, both for others and for yourself. This is the path to spiritual growth and deeper connection with the Creator. Living for the approval of others is a trap that leads to spiritual exhaustion. In Galatians chapter 1, 10, Paul asks, Am I now trying to win the approval of human beings, or of God? This question speaks to the heart of our motivations. It challenges us to evaluate whether our actions and choices are driven by a desire to please people or to honor God. The answer is clear. Our priority should always be to please God. When we shift our focus from seeking human validation to seeking God's will, we experience freedom from the burden of constantly measuring up to others' expectations. Choosing God's way often means going against the grain of the world. The world values popularity, success, and conformity, but God's call often requires us to walk a different path, one that may be marked by sacrifice, humility, and obedience. You may face criticism, resistance, or misunderstanding from others when you choose to follow God's leading. People may question your decisions or even label you as out of touch with the norms of society. However, in these moments, remember that your ultimate accountability is to God alone. He sees the heart and knows the intentions behind your actions. His approval is the only one that truly matters. Stand firm in your faith, knowing that the opinions of others pale in comparison to the eternal approval of your Creator. The world may offer temporary praise, but God offers eternal rewards. His approval is not based on our outward success or social status, but on our obedience to His will and our desire to live for His glory. When you align your life with His purpose, you will find that His approval brings peace and fulfillment that surpasses anything the world can offer. Choose to live for God's approval, and you will experience a deep, unshakable joy that flows from knowing you are walking in His purpose for your life. In a culture that glorifies busyness, it's easy to mistake activity for productivity. We often equate being busy with being effective, but the truth is, constantly being on the go can actually hinder our growth. Even good works, when done excessively, can lead to exhaustion and burnout. Luke chapter 10, 41 to 42 tells the story of Martha and Mary, where Jesus gently rebukes Martha, saying, You are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed, or indeed only one. Jesus was reminding Martha that while serving is good, it's not more important than sitting at his feet and soaking in his presence. 
This passage serves as a powerful reminder that our relationship with God should take precedence over our many tasks. We can get so caught up in the demands of life, work, family, ministry, that we neglect the very source of our strength. In our desire to be productive, we often forget that intimacy with God is the well from which all true productivity flows. Without time in His presence, we may find ourselves running on empty, trying to fulfill obligations without the necessary spiritual fuel. Take time to evaluate your schedule. Are you so busy serving others or chasing after success that you neglect quiet moments in God's presence? Balance is essential. Serving others is important, but intimacy with God is paramount. Just as Jesus invited Martha to rest and refocus, he calls us to do the same. By protecting our time with him, through prayer, worship, and scripture, we find renewed strength, clarity, and peace to carry out our daily responsibilities. When we prioritize God, he equips us to do all things with purpose, joy, and endurance, knowing that our efforts are not just for the world but for his glory. When you commit to these changes, the rewards are immense. John chapter 10, 27 promises, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Hearing God's voice brings direction, comfort, and purpose. Imagine the clarity that comes when distractions fade, problems shrink, and your focus sharpens on God's presence. This clarity enables you to walk boldly in your calling, confident in His guidance. God desires to speak to you, chosen one. He longs for a deep relationship where you hear His whispers and feel His presence. But you must make room for Him. Let go of the noise, the weights, and the hindrances, and you'll experience a transformation that draws you closer to His heart. A prayer for the chosen ones. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts longing to hear your voice. Thank you for calling us your chosen ones and for the incredible privilege of walking in your light. Help us to identify and release anything that hinders our connection with you. Grant us the courage to let go of toxic relationships, distractions, and the burdens of self-doubt. Teach us to magnify you above our problems and to live for your approval alone. Lord, we surrender our busyness and seek the balance that allows us to sit at your feet. Feed to us, Father. Lead us, refine us, and draw us closer to you. We trust in your promises and rest in your presence, knowing that you are faithful to guide us every step of the way. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Chosen ones, the journey to hearing God clearly is one of surrender, but the rewards are eternal. As you make these bold changes, may you experience his peace, his voice, and his unfailing love like never before.